お前はもう死んでいる。Guys, it's Trevor Plays here, back again with another One Piece live reaction. We are here with chapter 1052, A New Morning. So, as I said in the last one, uh, in the last chapter review, um, uh, I said that this was probably potentially the last of the Wano chapters, and I was right. So we have this chapter that I'm about to read right now, as well as another chapter next week or this weekend. You know. This weekend, this Sunday or whatever, uh, will be 1053, and that is the end of Wano. Finally done with Wano. Wano has lasted for four years now, and honestly, I, 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 I didn't even realize that until like I was watching other YouTubers, and they're like, oh yeah, Wano's been going on for like four years. It started in 2018. I was like, oh, oh yeah, it did. <laughs> like, I completely forgot. Uh. That's also because I did start doing my videos kind of halfway through Wano and around the 1,000 chapter-ish parts because I did do it uh, for night in the 900s just before, um, uh, just before 1,000. So I was able to record the 1,000 chapter as well. Um, but yeah, so we're here. We're, we're, we're live, or not really live, but I am doing a live reaction to this. I have not seen any, ah, that's a lie. I've seen some screenshots and stuff, so I know that it's it's a decent, you know, in-between chapter, so I'm totally fine with that. That wasn't too much spoiling, really. Um, I didn't really read the text, just because, like, that would spoil me a bit, but I did see the images and stuff. That's totally fine. Um. Because it wasn't, it wasn't too much. It wasn't, it really wasn't much. So it was totally fine. Um, but we are here with uh, the fourteenth volume of Germa sixty six, ah, an emotionless excursion. The scientist who failed to escape. And we see Raju and Ichiji walking through the hallways, and then we see Caesar Clown still here in a whole cake somehow. We thought he escaped, but I guess not. Um, good to know. Good to know. I guess. Um, but yeah, so, and Reiju kind of notices something here. She goes, hmm? Um, but yeah, so, Caesar's still around. I thought he left, but I guess not. Alright, so let's get into A New Morning. Sacred Marijoa. 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 However you want to say it. I say Marijoa, uh, but it's, for some people, it's Marijoa. So, which I see, I see the Mary Joa, or Joa, or however you want to say it, I see it. That's kind of how it's spelled right here. Um, I'm still going to call it Marie Joa, uh, just because I feel like that just sounds cooler. Um, and more, I guess, elegant, or uh, world government type thing, I don't know. Um, so, Nika has finally descended upon the world. And the two of the four emperors defeated in the same battle. This is not a matter we can cover up. The information will be all over the globe soon enough. And the timing couldn't be worse. So how do we respond? Alright. The sea is near Wano. You said that Zoe is gone? Yes, sir. It just slipped away into the mist. So what was it doing? Then they are not opening up the country? Wano will remain an imp uh, impregnable fortress, it seems? They must have changed tactics in re response to the situation. Someone over there is very shrewd. Now, there is no means of sending in a major force to occupy the nation. But you will at least bring back Nico Robin, yes? Without fail. <clears throat> and then shock look. CP0. CP0. The signal's being jammed. Hang on, you guys. Who, who are you? Just where are you? Wait. Where are you? I'll be right there. Hmm? Okay. Okay. Weird. 
Uh, the land of Wano, freed at last from 20 years of tyranny, Reve reveled in the victory of the Kozuki clan within Onigashima Castle. <sighs> Drake, you're a navy man. Not answering that. That's what you came here to ask? <sighs> you look like a total wreck. I thought your division said you'd be fine, as long as you didn't betray Kaido. I sank to working for Kaido because I sensed death in the presence of that monster. But Kid and Killer faced death barely, bravely, and continued their resistance. Even if I had foreseen their victory, how could I possibly turn back and suck up to Kid again? Mm -hmm. If you're going to betray them, now's the time. What does that represent? The chances of a certain man surviving until tomorrow. 1%. Sucks to be him. So that certain man you were ta uh, you were talking about was me. And Hawkins falls. Down. Okay. So does that mean does that mean Hawkins is dead? Damn. Okay. Seventh day since the conclusion Flower Festival. Jeez, or Flower Capital. Jeez, seven days have passed? A whole week? <clears throat> um, don't take the festival decorations down. Lord Momonosuke, the Shogun, has decreed that we'll have another festival. Did Miss Sarahibe go away? Let me see the and that was obviously, you know, one of Black Maria's people. How come? I'm sorry, kids, but you need a re-education about the history between our heroes. Aw. We start with a, a most astonishing lad. This lesson will cover the story of o uh, Kozuki Odin. I can hardly believe it. Komurasaki, uh, the most beautiful woman in all of Wano, was Lord Odin's daughter all along. It was Kawamatsu the Kappa who rescued her from the burning castle. What a beautiful tale of uh, loyalty. One samurai disguised himself as a Yakuza named Kyoshiro and secretly protected her from harm. He was one of the Akazaya Nine, Sir Dinjiro. Paradise Farm Do you know about the man who beat Kaido? I heard. He's a warrior by the name of Joy Boy, right? But apparently, he's already left the country. Oh, I wish I could have seen him. A hero rivaled only by the god of the blade. Eternal Graves Ringo. Build a temple. Indeed. Up on a hill with the view of the flower capital. Just like this shrine to Ryuma. God, blade, god of the blade. Yo, okay. Okay. I see. I see. Okay. so. It, Ryuma, who was known as God of the Blade, with Shusui. Okay, okay. <clears throat> Only this one will honor Lord Odin, and surrounding him, all of the daimyo who fought for the country, starting with Lord Yasuye, plus Ashura, and Izo, and yep. I suppose we'll go in here someday too, Onimaru. Little scamp, <laughs> glad you're alive. Does that work for you, Sir Marco? Of course. Best to be buried in one's native soil. Bro, so... <laughs> so we kind of assumed that Ashira was... Um, going to die. But Izo... I was not expecting that at all. But again, he did fight against um, the... He did fight... Um, uh, well, uh, he did fight against CP0, so or, or some somebody. I don't remember exactly who. But yeah, I was not expecting Izo to die here. Okay, so we lost... So we, Officially lost two uh, of the scabbards 
Ashira and Izo. So there's that. Now picking up back with Marco and everybody. And here I am still kicking for some reason. We have our own qualms too. It's difficult to bear the thought of something happening to the heroes of the battle while the rest of us live. Let us pay for their recovery. I'm so hungry. I mean, not hungry. Not hungry. Not hungry, says Yamato. Brother! Big brother! Hmm? Yamato! Luffy, Taro, and Zoro, Juro. Oh, good. Have awakened! Bow! <laughs> she just kicks Momonosuke in the face. Blah! She's still not over her tomboy's side. Doesn't hurt, though. <laughs> and then Luffy, meet! Zoro, booze! <laughs> Luffy, Zoro, you're awake! More meat, right away! What a great day! More, more! Luffy, you're up! And then, Luffy, Zoro, don't eat too much. Now that you're up, the entire country is going to hold a feast. Let's do it today! And they're like, huh? And you see Yamato hugging Luffy and Chopper is on top of Zoro's head. It's me, Momonosuke! Uh -huh. What? Oh, so you're an adult now. You look pretty buff, kid. Is that Odin's blood? Let's see how well you take a punch. Don't! <laughs> oh, stop. They're picking on me. Save me, Onami. Eek! Knock it off! Poof. She punches him in the face because now he's an adult. <laughs> but I'm only eight. Doesn't hurt, though. Oh, that's right. Yeah, he's tougher now. And then Sanji and... Uh, Brooker over here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to the adult world, Momo. Your special privileges are a thing of the past. <laughs> and then Yamato's over here. He's a kid on the inside and Odin on the outside. Stop putting a tray on my head every time you see me. <laughs> You've got a very sturdy body. Be grateful to your parents. You'll be the greatest samurai in the nation one day, I'm sure. Well, I'll try. <clears throat> Yamato, let's take uh, that bath before the pre uh, festival. Your prayer is over, right? Prayer? And Wano, when you pray to the gods for something, it's customary to derive yourself until it comes true. I didn't have any food or baths until you two were better again. Wow, really? Thanks to you, I'm feeling great. Now, Yamao, what a nice person. We're not that filthy, though. That's because it. Uh, I took it upon myself to cleanse you. Is that exciting for you? And then Sanji, Ma said, we need to have a talk. <laughs> After the finisher, if I'm not in my right mind, I want you to kill me. Oh, yeah. That's right. I've come back from the depths of hell to kill you. And then, no, I'm good. We've already resolved that. And we see them in the background fighting each other already. And then, sorry, Nami, there's no mixed bathing in the castle. Uh, do you mind if uh, this one joins you? And then, rock bath inside the castle. It's a fancy bath. Men's bath. Ah, oh, it feels great. And there's a feast uh, when we're done. This is the best. Am I dreaming? Yamato, what are you? And then, yeah. So, these were the scenes I saw. Were the bath scenes. So, yes. Yamato, who is technically confirmed a female and the daughter of Kaido, but self-proclaims herself as Odin, she's in the men's bath, um, and Kiku, who uh, uses, um, also uses the whole uh, thing of being male as a samurai and all that, is now in the women's bath. So that's what they're, they're whole talking. They're talking about here previously here. Um, so. So that's what's going on here. Um, and then over in the women's bath, I can hear them yelling from here. I hope I grow up to be this bewitching, says says Tama as she's pressing on Nami. 
<laughs> uh, in the past, we would all bathe together with Lord Odin, though this one felt ashamed being with the men. Uh, you're just as I remember, Yuki Okiku, only I'm older than you now. <laughs> Um, and then Toko, this is nice. Uh, the feast is going to be today. It's, it's time once again to celebrate the return of the Kozuki clan. Tell each of the provinces. Uh, Togage Port Udon. Whew, back in, uh, shape at last. Yeah, it should be good to sail. Um, and General Frankie's back to normal too. And then there, and then Beppo, that thing is so cool. And then, <laughs> and then, whoa, as you see, uh, Killer and uh, the other kid pirates, I guess, see that Frankie, uh, Usopp, and the, uh, what is his name? The, the carpenter guy that's here, that's been around since like Logtown or something, um, who's just always been around apparently, um, have uh, fixed up. The Sunny, Kid's uh, Ship, and um, Law's Polar Tank. I don't remember what Kid's Ship is named. Um, but yeah, so all of the ships and submarine are all back to tip-top shape um, because of Frankie and Usopp, the carpenter guy. And then Kid, don't get all buddy-buddy with them. Stay on your guard until we're able to leave. Somehow, somewhere, the intel will leak. And the papers will hear about it. They'll be after us as uh, replacements for the four emperors. He's right. They can't see us from outside of the closed nation, but we can't see what the enemy's doing either. What if we find out that all, all their bounties are astronomical numbers like we've never seen before? Finally, bring up the bounties. Let's go. Alright, so then we go, ah, ba, ba, a poo, and a number. That's right. Who can say how the, this information leaked out, but stop acting like it wasn't you, you annoying bum. <laughs> it says, it says, kid, stop acting like, like it wasn't you, you annoying bum. <laughs> That's funny. I'm sure you're curious about the new bounty numbers. Ah, ba, ba. Want to see them? It's all there. All of your bounties and the names they're calling the new emperors of the sea. I asked you where you are right now. I already told you, Sakazuki. I'm in the air. In the air where? Oh, I can see Wano up ahead. Don't you dare make things any worse. Got that? Uh, real Kyugu? A real, real Q? Whatever. Uh, Green Bull. <laughs> I know, I know, jeez. And then we see. Poof. So then, yes, we're getting bounty updates next chapter. Finally, finally, new bounties. Um, and then Green Bull is finally showing up. We're finally going to see Green Bull after all this time of, one, him getting revealed at Reverie. And then, not knowing it, one, not knowing anything about Green Bull. Then the fact that he gets revealed at Reverie as the next uh, Admiral, um, next to Fujitora as well, um, was kind of insane. Because I was like, yo, this is cool. Well, obviously, they have to keep up their numbers and stuff. So obviously, we knew there was going to be new uh, Admirals as well. Um, obviously, Kizaru is still an Admiral. Um, and then Fujitora and now um, uh, Ryo Kyugu or Green Bull as well is... Um, the next one. Um, but yes. So finally, we're getting bounties, and who are the new emperors of the sea? It is great. Obviously, we all knew that this information of this battle was going to get leaked out eventually. We all knew that. Um, because obviously, how would bounties go up, and who's all involved, and you know who, what goes which way and all this other stuff um so yep the newspapers are already printed everything is already out that was really fast that was very very fast so that means like a poo like leaked this like 
right after everything happened. Um, so yeah, cannot wait to see Bounty's next chapter. That is great. Um, I will definitely stay away from social media because bounties are one of the most integral things to the story. And now that we're coming towards the final saga of One Piece, so the final couple of arcs or however many arcs we're going to have um, to fill in this final saga of One Piece, like this is the end, we're, we're reaching the end game here of One Piece. So these bounties better be high like they better have some high bounties um because this means we're reaching the end game here the straw hats are one of the strongest and most like i guess lethal pirate crews out there in the world um so their bounties are going to skyrocket and so what's good here is that apu is showing up to where kid killer law Frankie, Usopp, and now everybody is. So that way, Frankie and Usopp will figure out or find out the newspaper and the bounties for them as well. Um, so then they can go and tell uh, the rest of the crew. Uh, so that's cool. I do like that. That obviously all of this is happening nearby. Um, so that way the rest of the crew can um, know about everything going on here. Um, and yeah, cannot wait, uh, cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait, cannot wait. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this live reaction. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. Leave some comments down below on what you guys thought of the chapter. And honestly, I know this might be, this might be a little spoilery, maybe just in, just depending on how it is. But if you guys would like to leave bounty predictions in the comments, I totally, totally am all for that um because you never know sometimes we might be on the mark and we might not be but that's totally fine i we will eventually find out anyway and it's okay so if you want to do that please by all means you can if you don't want to to not spoil anybody else who you know isn't fully caught up yet or whatever then that is fine too but that's it for me guys hopefully you have enjoyed if you're new to the channel please consider hitting the subscribe and notification bell and i'll see you guys